You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssel van Vieren. With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Janssen von Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my Dark Court Sisters book series, available in ebook, paperback, and audiobook. Three Sisters, Three Destinies, Three Ways to Destroy the World. Go to RinaldaMythmaker.com forward slash Dark Old Sister Series for more. You can now support my time in producing the podcast, researching, writing and everything else involved by buying me a coffee. This can be a once-off thing or you can buy me coffee again in the future at your discretion. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Renal to support me. We are continuing our exploration of Solitary Fae. Today we are listening to an extract full of Solitary Fae from my book Dark Desires, Dark Court Sisters 1, narrated by me. A horde of Fae arrived in the grass clearing between buildings. Tasha's gaze flitted over the weak Solitary Fae. A few bedraggled pixies, a couple of goblins, an odd dwarf, a handful of lie ergs, and a redhead Lianan Shi, and her attention returned to the trio. Tasha shook her head. She just had to have thought about the dark muse yesterday morning. Though the magic the new arrivals had used to make the brownies was strong, they weren't up to fight the trio. Or her. The knowledge she'd kept from herself for so long was terrifying. The redhead Fay flicked her hair over her shoulder. She opened her mouth to speak, saw the trio, blanched like she could possibly lose more colour and motioned to the rest of her group. The pixies in their tattered ribbon outfits flew about madly around their group. The goblins clenched their weapons. The lie irks trembled, their red palms unwittingly outstretched towards the trio. Sorry to bother you, the dwarf said and pulled at his beard. We'll be leaving now. He quickly backed away and they retreated. I hope you enjoyed the extract. You can get the audiobook read by me or a digitally narrated version. Just go to renaldemythmaker.com forward slash my hyphen audiobooks to peruse your options. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renaldemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic, and danger await. Take care.